Hey guys, Tim here. So I know it's been like two months. I'm gonna do a 30 second update on the channel. If you don't want to hear it, just skip ahead real quick. So I've been paying off a lot of vacations, been doing a lot of work to the house, a lot of house projects. So the Corvette's been on the back burner for a while. I've got wheel spacers. I've got um, lowering bolts over here on the shelf. And today we're going to um, lower the car. So I've got, I'm gonna do the rear. The rear is really simple in terms of difficulty and how much you need to do. Then we're gonna see how it looks and uh, go from there on it. Um, hopefully we're gonna have more videos out soon. I've just been extremely busy with work and with house projects and vacations that haven't been able to really put the time and effort into uh, put, put more stuff on the car. Um, I got a guy that can help me out with the cam. I'm gonna get a cam soon and put it in the car. Uh, but for now, she's for the past couple months, she's just been solid where she's at uh, until today so so today we're gonna get these lowering bolts I got from uh, I believe VMS it was off eBay and they're stainless steel they're stainless steel so it's VMS racing um, I don't know how good they are I've seen some reviews people I mean it's just bolts um, but you do have to do grade 9 uh, because that's what your car is riding on so hopefully it, it does look it does do, it does what it says got the fronts I believe and then the rears and then the rubber at the bottom so we're gonna take these out go down there and take a look at what's going on under the car and see what we got to do from there Obviously, you need to take off your wheels. Um, so, let's take a look at the bolt and we'll show you what's going on here. So, what basically you're doing is taking this C clip off right here, the top of this bolt, and taking this bolt off, and the, or taking this nut off, and the bolt should fall right out of the bottom. Um, and I think it's a 19 top and a 19 bottom um, so that's what we're going to do and you're going to replace the bolt nut and the bushings with the kit um, and there's no tension on this if you're scared of that that's the biggest thing I was concerned of was there's tension on this Now, I've got the bolt in with the threads on the top, how far I want it to go. Um, and when I lower, when I put the wheel back on, I lower, it's gonna put tension on that, on that nut, so it shouldn't come off at all. But we'll, we'll see what it looks like. Uh, I'm doing a little test drive around the community, and uh, hopefully everything works out, and then we'll go to the front. And, the back is pretty simple, the front is what's a nightmare, so we'll see what happens with that. Alright guys, I'm going to show you what happens whenever I lower the car onto the bolts. Hey guys, so the back is done. Um, it looks amazing. It's probably a little bit too low. I'm going to have to drive around, see if it scrubs, and if it does, We'll just we'll just lift it up and and spin the the bolt and bring it up a you know three quarters in or whatever it needs to do. All right, guys. So this is the rear. Um, it's amazing. The um, it's it's really lowered. I mean, it's tucked the tire a little bit. 
and this is after driving around for the suspension to settle for a little while uh, so this is the day after <clears throat> so I'm just going to get a shot of the uh, the rear and the front the front's also done so I'm just going to add in this video as well um, but I'll have the video for the uh, the front after this one to install the front so here's the uh, here's the rear and this is what the car looks like now which is 10,000 times better I highly recommend doing this